Lisa, wait. I can't. Oh, darling, I tried. I tried for father, for you. I can't. I just can't. We're going to announce our engagement right here. No. Yes. No. And I'm going to dance a waltz with my own beloved Garrick woman from one end of this room to the other. George, I beg you not to. No. Dance with me. No, George, no. Dance with me. Please, I beg you not to. Listen, Lisa. Was I in your vision? Did the chandelier fall on me, too? No. Even as long as you're in my arms, it can't fall. Can't fall. Lisa. But it's no longer 1901. Now it's 1947, June 12th. And this wonderful party is for Lisa's granddaughter, who tonight is making her debut. So Lisa's premonition of disaster was all wrong. No, 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 I have a book. Oh, uh, right over here, around the corner. Yeah. Champagne, yes? Very well, Ask them to play The Ways of Love. Very well, monsieur. Uh, champagne for the gentleman in booth one. and the bizarre events that provoked Cooper's death sentence, they began here, in the attractive midtown apartment of bachelor Fred Summers. They happened because of Kate Maxwell, a widow. Hey, careful with that good whiskey. I'm steady as Gibraltar. Mm, I'll say you are. I don't know why you never let me help you. I make a pretty good salad myself. <laughs> You always keep inviting me to dinner because you hate my cooking, right? Right. Right.